We have that truck. We can get some gas. We can get out of here. There's a pump out by the shed. I know that's why I pulled in here, but it's locked. Emergency meeting called this afternoon by the president. Since convening this conference of the presidential cabinet, the FBI, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the CIA, has not produced any public information. Why are space experts being consulted about an earthbound emergency? So far, all the betting on the answer to that question centers on the recent Explorer satellite shot to Venus. That satellite, you'll recall, started back to Earth, but never got here. That's the space vehicle which orbited Venus and then perp was purposely destroyed by NASA when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Could that radiation be somehow responsible for the wholesale murders we're now suffering? Newsman Don Quinn in Washington has posed those questions. It's obvious our best move is to try to get out of here. How are you going to get over to that pump? Look! Uh, you're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probe, is that right? Uh, yes, yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. You feel there is a connection between this and the there's phenomenon? A, there's a definite connection, a definite connection. In other words, you feel that the radiation on the Venus probe is enough to call these, cause these mutations? There was a very high degree of radiation. Well, just a minute. Uh, uh, I'm not sure that that's certain at all. I don't but think that has been a logical uh, explanation through. that we have at this time. In other words, it is the military's viewpoint that this, the radiation is not the cause of the mutation. I can't speak for the entire military at this time, gentlemen. This seems to I be... must disagree with these gentlemen presently until we, uh, until this is irrefutably proved. Uh, everything is uh, being done that can be done. We'll have to hurry for our next meeting. Uh, and Professor, you feel that there is a definite connection between... There's a definite the... connection as far uh, as Dr. Keller and myself. Doctor, please. I, I thought we decided that is not proved yet. But, uh, was, it, where, was the satellite, when the satellite was exploded... An unusual amount of radiation, enough to cause mutation under certain circumstances. Could have, uh, happened yeah, to have, have a bearing on it. It, it does seem to have a bearing. Yes. Will, will, there be a, will there be a reply for, this, for the... Later. Yes. There will be a reply. Yes. Later this afternoon. There will, be a, there will be a report this afternoon. Well, perhaps there will be yes, a report, yes. a, a multiple Later. report. Will you close the window? We are doing everything possible to solve the problem. Some further explanation of this. We've heard all we need to know. We have to try to get out of here. He said the rescue stations have doctors and medical supplies. If we could get Karen there, we could get help for her. Elmo is one of the world's foremost authorities on space science and technology. Willard. I saw a sign that said Willard. It's only about 17 miles from here. You know this area. You from around here? Judy and I are both from around here. We were on our way up to the lake to go swimming. And Judy had a radio and we heard the first reports about this. So we knew the old house was here and we came in and found the lady upstairs dead. Then these other people came. We went down into the basement and put a bar across the door and it is pretty strong. How could we possibly get away from here? We've got a sick child. Two Dr. women, one woman out of her head, three men, and the place is surrounded with this thing. For NASA. Dr. Grimes, your entire staff, I know, has been working very hard to find some solution to these things that are happening. Do you have any answers at this time? Yes, we have some answers. Uh, but first, let me stress the importance of seeking medical attention for anyone who's been injured in any way. We don't know yet uh, what complications might result from such injuries. How bad has your kid been hurt? Good advice, Doctor. Now, how about the basic problem um, of Well, Look, you go down there and tell, you know, Judy? Yeah, you tell Judy to come up here and you stay with the kid, all right? In the cold room at the university, uh, we had a cadaver. A cadaver from uh, which all four limbs had been amputated. Sometime early this morning, it opened its eyes and began to move its trunk. It was dead, but it opened its eyes and tried to move. They want you upstairs. Did she ask for me? She had to do anything. I don't understand. Baby. It's Mommy. I heard. I'll come back down as soon as I find out what they want. Thank you, Judy. The body should be disposed of at once, preferably by cremation. Well, how long after death, then, does the body become reactivated? It's only a matter of minutes. Minutes? Well, that doesn't give people time to make any arrangements. Oh, you're right. It doesn't give them time to make funeral arrangements. The bodies must be carried to the street and, and, and burned. 
Uh, they must be burned immediately. Soak them with gasoline and burn them. The bereaved will have to forego the dubious comforts that a funeral service will give. Uh, they're just dead flesh and dangerous.